Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain Nesnius here, and today I'm going to be taking off this skin on my Nintendo Switch. Even though I love this skin so much, it looks so nice. Uh, I'm going to take it off because when I looked up on YouTube if the skin did anything to the console, I found somebody putting this skin on, and I didn't even specifically look up this skin. I just looked up if, if the skins did anything. I found one video where it was about 60 hours, I think, that they had these skins on the system, and then they showed what happened but that is the only video I could find. So this has been on for 288 hours, give or take a few, because it's been about 12 days since I put this on. And we're gonna see if the skin did anything to the console. Now, I mean, I'll validate that it's a switch for you. Boom, right there. Oh wait, you can barely see that. All right, there we go. You can see that it's a working switch. I could boot up Shovel Knight right here. There we go, Yacht Club games, whatever. So we're going to be seeing if the skin does anything to the console, and I've got a piece of like saran wrap over here that I'm going to stick the um, the skin onto. So we're going to see the skin on the other side and see if it took off anything from the actual Joy-Cons themselves. So the first thing I'm going to take off is right back here on the stand because I put this on a little too far up, so every time I put out the stand, it comes off a little bit more. So we'll take this off first. I'm taking it off very slowly. See if it does anything. Well, that right there seems to be pretty perfect to me. That spot right there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it whatsoever, but it's where the Nintendo Switch logo is that I've seen really bad things happen. So we're going to try taking that part off next. Alright, I got a small corner up, and I'm going to pull it right off I'm very slowly again. I can tell you that it looks like the adhesive on here is sticking to the switch a lot more than something else. But I think you can just take that right off. I'll tell you, this thing is stuck on here pretty good, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did something to it. So we got the Nintendo logo down in the corner. I don't think any of the paint's coming up from it. Doesn't look like it. I think we're about to get to that Switch logo. Oh, yep, here's the Switch logo. Trying very carefully not to do anything because I've heard these skins ruin them and I have not seen any evidence of that so far on my own. The most problem I've had so far is some adhesive staying on the switch, but it's not doing anything once I take it off. It just comes right off. So I've gotten the skin all the way off, and you can see there's a little bit of black right there, but I don't see anything on the actual switch of where that might have come from. I'll look around on here, but I don't see much. There are no spots on this thing where it could have possibly come off from. Again, the only thing that is happening is the adhesive sticking on in certain spots. But easily, you can just take your thumb and rub it against there and it comes right off. All right, so here's the full back of the switch. I'll like tilt it, get some different angles on it, some different lighting, but nothing has happened from the skin I've put on it. Now, the only place that has put out anything about this is dbrand, I'm pretty sure, so maybe it's just dbrand skins, but it didn't do anything to mine. I mean, I'm going to keep that screen protector on there. I don't want to get scratched up in the dock, but it didn't do anything, and I'm not putting this on the saran wrap. You can see there is nothing on there whatsoever. It's all white, and there's nothing. So now to move on to the Joy-Cons. I have two gray Joy-Cons here. I don't think it'll be different for the red or blue, but I do have two gray ones right here, and I'm going to take the skins off of them and see what that looks like. All right, so I think already I see something did happen to the Joy-Cons. Um, it does look like the finish maybe came right off of it, but I'm going to keep peeling and see if it's actually anything that happened to it. Okay, so we have the Joy-Con right here, and you might be able to tell that that is a lot more matte. It's a very matte, um, 
what is it called? Like a very matte gray right here. And there is a line all around this that does, it, it's noticeable. Like, if you look at it, if you really look at it, it's noticeable. I don't, I don't think it really shows up on the camera. Oh yeah, you can probably see it right around there. Little line. So, instead of being like this semi-glossy, it is very matte on the front of it from that having that skin on there. Um, nothing too much to report on besides that. There was a little bit down here that looked like those scratches or something that they showed, but that was literally just adhesive that I just rubbed off like I did with the Switch console itself. So, now I'm going to go to this one. Alright, so I've gotten to this point on it, and I'm just going to go very slowly. For the last one, it went pretty fast, but this one I'm just going to go very slowly and see if it has any different kind of impact on it. This is really just slipping off. I can't really go too much slower. Yeah, right there, just pulled right off. Alright, so I've taken this completely off, and you can't really tell by looking at this that anything's on there. But... I'm guessing it is that glossy finish if it is on there, but it's still sticky on there, so that's confusing. Uh, there's a little bit of that adhesive right down there, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Maybe, possibly, but really that just rubs right off. Alright, so after looking at these for a little while, I can tell that that line that I was saying that is all across here is not actually a line. It was really, again, just some adhesive, and I realized that all this semi-glossiness is probably from using it and this part being protected so I there is no seam there anymore like I rubbed it right off there is no seam whatsoever it they're perfectly fine the skin doesn't ruin them at all at least this one this was from GameStop this skin and um, so I, I guess I just took off a perfectly good skin for nothing but it's for this video, I guess. So, now you guys know that at least this Legend of Zelda skin does not do anything to your Switch. Uh, it's been tested by me <laughs> a little over a week and a half. I've had it on, so nothing to worry about if you do have it on. So don't take it off if you do have it on and you like it. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. This has been Captain SNES, signing out. Peace.